Hello guys and welcome to the new video. Today we're gonna talk about recipient list pattern. But before we start I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. Also in the description you can find a couple of Amazon affiliate links and buy me a coffee link where you can support my work if, if you really want to. There is also a github repo link where you can find all examples I showed in the previous videos. And this one of course. So, let's start talking about recipient list. What is the real use of recipient list and when we should use it? It is used when we want to route a message to a list of dynamically specified recipients. This allows us to choose recipients and not pass message to the channels that doesn't actually need that message. Also, same as a content-based router, recipient list should not modify the original message. There are multiple ways of implementing this pattern in, uh, in the Ap Apache Camel framework. You can check them in the following example. So, let's start. As I said in the previous chapter, uh, we're gonna show you the multiple implementations and the multiple options that A Apache Camel provides us with. So, for example, we have the implementation with static recipient list and dynamic recipient list. As you can see, uh, in this case, in, this, in the case of static recipient list, we have the constant and we have the actual values of the endpoints that we want to re receive message. In the other case, in the case of dynamic, we have the, um, here is the some log of the actual recipient list and we are going to use header with the name recipient list. In this case we we could have here some processor which will do some business logic and set this recipient list per our use case or per our needs. Uh, those are the two types of the implementation. The options that Apache Camel provides us with are the delimiter implementation. So, in the case with the static list, this also can be implemented with uh, dynamic, but I use the static just to show you how it actually works. As you can see in the first first example, we have the default, the delimiter, which is comma, but we want to use, I don't know, something else, maybe some pipe or uh, semicolon or I, I don't know, any, any anything you like. So you can set the actual recipient list and after that you can set the delimiter which will split these values okay then the next thing we have is the parallel processing with timeout or with time or without timeout sorry this is the optional but i want to show you how it actually works so we have the static list here with delimiter I, I just copied it from here, so it will be from now on. Uh, and the parallel processing enables us to have the thread pool, some default thread pool, uh, which will produce e exact copies of the messages to these end endpoints here. And the timeout is um, basically if the parallel processing doesn't send these three messages to these three endpoints in one second, uh, then uh, if we, if it actually sends only two and this timeout is done, then the third message will be cancelled and these two will be sent. So yeah, it's for definitely some use cases. I I don't see any use case right now from my head where I can use this, but it's definitely useful if we want to limit our processing time. The next thing is the stop and exception. So basically you want to send to, to ensure that all these uh, endpoints received its messages, you can stop an exception and it will cancel all the previous messages. So yeah, this, the, the, this one is pretty simple and the ignore invalid end endpoints is actually the opposite of the stop an exception, uh, it will just ignore if the SEDA Y is not the, is not reachable for any 
case or I don't know, it's unavailable, it will just ignore it and send message to the Z. So yeah, I wrote the actually only one test this time because uh, it's pointless to write the same test for all this and I don't have that much time to be honest. So I will just show you what I did. Um, I created a test, extended camel test support as usual, um, created a, a rock builder, which is actually this class here. Um, and we have three mock endpoints, mock one, mock two, mock three. And we will uh, hit dynamic list. So we will test, oh, sorry, mm, this actually. So we will pass the header with re recipient list header with the value that, that will have some endpoints. In this case, this will be the mock endpoints because they are easier to test. So yeah, our producer will uh, send a message to the to dynamic list and after that uh, we will assert this this right here so yeah <clears throat> let's run it oh it failed for some reason mm -hmm, let me see what's it okay oh this is my bad sorry guys for not checking it it's actually, let's see, mm, okay. Okay, now if we run it, it should pass, I think. Okay. Right, so basically what we did is tested the uh, number of messages and the body. So, as I previously said, the recipient list have a, is a two-part process. First, it identifies the list, and the second part is to send the copy of the exact message to that list. So, in in this case, we proved that it actually works, as I said. So, yeah. Thank you for the attention. Hope you have a great week and goodbye.